So everyone has defense mechanisms. All animals have defense mechanisms. Most of the time it involves running or hiding. So for example, gazelles will run away from cheetahs and um, lots of small little rodents will hide from snakes or birds of prey. They'll just hide in their little holes in the ground. Um, another way to avoid a predator is to camouflage yourself. Again, that's like on the range of hiding. Uh, poison. So, for example, the monarch butterfly is poisonous to birds. So if a bird tries to eat it, then the bird will throw up. Another way to get away from predators is to gross them out. So cats and dogs uh, will poop and run away. <laughs> so they'll try to gross you out that way. There are lots of animals, lots of insects and birds will vomit. So, and that vomit will either smell bad or be poisonous to their predator. So, a lot of people know about the porcupine and their quills or hedgehogs are also pokey and you don't want to touch them because it's uncomfortable. But there are a lot of animals that have some very interesting and weird ways of avoiding becoming someone else's dinner. So one way is to amputate part of your body. So this is called atatami, and lots of lizards do it. They let go of their tail, they amputate their own tail, and the tail wiggles around and distracts the predator while the lizard gets away. There are also um, octopus, octopi, and squid that will detach an arm and let that distract a predator. But the dormouse is the one mammal, this is really rare among mammals, to self-amputate. The dormouse can let go of its tail to get away. The difference is with lizards, they can grow their tail back. The dormouse cannot. The dormouse cannot grow back its tail. So one shot, one shot to distract their predator and get away. Something else that you might be familiar with is the skunk. Skunks can really scent. Their cousins can do the same thing. Weasels and ferrets are in that mustelid family and they can release a bad smell. Possums can release a bad smell. Obviously, they're not as bad as a skunk. Skunk's pretty bad. The smell can last for days, no matter how much you bathe. And if you are directly sprayed in the face, you can go temporarily blind. Fun. That's enough to deter me from messing with a skunk. Uh, most people I know don't want to mess with a skunk, so that's a really good idea to get away from things. Possums play dead, and when they play dead, they are actually unconscious. They go comatose. So <laughs> they're not just like playing, they're actually pretty unconscious. And so they have to be careful with that because if it doesn't work, they can't really defend themselves in any other way. Playing dead, by the way, is called thanatosis. Something kind of gross. A lot of these end up like either grossing out the predator or just like fighting them off too much. It's not worth it to the predator, right? The horned lizard will squirt you with blood from its eyes. It can purposely break the blood vessels in its eyes and then like squint and squirt the blood out at you. So bleeding can be a way to not be someone's dinner. Think about that, maybe add it to your list. The hairy frog is not only cool and weird because it's an amphibian with hair, hair is normally on mammals like us, but it can break the bones in its hands and flip them out sort of like wolverine claws. So that's kind of really cool. Really, really awesome. They are little feisty fighters. The pato can also poke with its bones. The pato is a primate sort of animal from Africa. It's very furry and he has huge bug eyes. It's nocturnal, so you might not have ever seen a pato, but it can poke out its neck bones on the back of its neck and like stab you with its neck bones. It's pretty pointy. And the Spanish rib newt can also poke you with its bones. It will poke its ribs out of its sides. Um, and they will actually poke out of the skin and become spikes. 
Some will fight you. Some animals will fight you. So the sea cucumber, if threatened, it can flip its intestines inside out from its butt and poison you with its digestive tract juices. And Malaysian ants and termites from French Giovanna rainforests can purposely explode on you. And it's not just like a shock, you know, something exploded on you, but they have like poison sacs in them. So it's like a poison bomb. Their whole body is a poison bomb and they just explode on you. So that's fun. Um, Octopi and squid release ink. A lot of people know about that. The whole reason is that the cloud becomes so distracting that sometimes the predator will attack the cloud of ink and try to get that and eat that, which obviously doesn't work. So that's pretty funny. Um, a potato beetle larvae will cover themselves in their own toxic feces. So when all else fails, roll around in your own poop and you won't become someone's dinner. I hope that I have given you some good tips that you will be able to use in the future so that you don't become someone's dinner. Tune in next week for something else probably weird. Maybe. We'll see. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.